Hello everyone again and welcome to another episode of our tutorial series. This time is not the intermediate guide. <laughs> we finished guys in the last episode the intermediate uh, Photoshop guide and we are going to do an advanced one but not right now. We are going to make it into uh, parts. So we are going to just learn right now tips and tricks from using Photoshop and how you can do it into making games. So. Uh, guys, we are going to switch from learning just the basic of Photoshop into learning the basic of making game design in game character and stuff like this. So before we start this, we are going to learn how to use, of course, Unity because that is the most in the beautiful engine we are going to be using in creating our games uh, for uh, Windows, for web, for anything that you want. We are going to learn everything, guys. What step? by step so let's get started right uh, and the first thing we are going to do i will uh, give you this link in the description it's the unity website you are going to hit to the unity website and we before we install unity we are going to need to talk about unity right so let's see what is unity let me just click in this link here like this and we'll have it like this and as you can see unity is uh, uh, an engine for everyone who want to make a uh, game development and stuff like this as you can see we are not logged in because uh, we didn't, I didn't log in with my account you can create an account here of course it's for free you can create an account for free here you can see everything that we have here this is the latest stuff created by unity this is the beta version for the unity uh, 2019 we are going to be using the unity uh, 2019 it's in a pre-release right now it's not in beta and of course there are some tutorials here in creating your first game and stuff like this and unity basically is an engine you will be using to create 2d and 2d.5 and 3d games right guys you can create anything that you want in unity also you can create ar augmented uh, reality games you can make virtual reality games and stuff like this and there are some new stuff in unity we are going to talk about them later guys but not for now so everything you need to succeed is just unity all you need is to install unity so as you can see unity is so much more than the world's best real-time development platform it's also a robust ecosystem designed to enable your success so join join our dynamic community to, of creators so you can tap into what we you need to achieve your vision so if you are looking to create games if you want to be a game developer or you just want to make games for fun if you have some skills or if you want to learn new skills like in c sharp and to how to use the uh, unity this tutorial series will be for you here and of course you can hit to the unity website and you can see all the tutorials you need because they have a lot of free tutorials guys and we are going to do a video explaining every tutorials we have in unity so you can uh, just go ahead and watch them if you want but if you want to watch this series i will be really happy and i'm here to support you guys and to show you everything that i know about unity so this is basically the website the unity website let me just okay got it let me just hit back uh the top here like this oops um <laughs> so if you want to see some games that was created using unity let me just show you uh show you some of those games so as you can see the unruly heroes as you can see this is a game made entirely in unity norman's island pharos er golf club cycles o series new dawn by max dreams sounder trinity as you can see a lot of coco vr of course if you know the series coco uh everything that you know and some news games are always and always using the unity as you know this is the monument valley this is the uh, two and it's here life of us is created inside unity 2 this is the hollow knight of course this is a, a popular game as you can see it's created inside unity ghost of tale of course in unity ring and morty virtual reality <laughs> and stuff like this cuphead of course the game that's win one of the best game in the world last year it was created here inside unity guys so 
I hope you are hyped and motivated right now to go ahead and try Unity and let's learn how to make games, right? So let me close this link here and we have this link here. This is the link you will need to download Unity. So I will give this link in the description for you guys so you can just go ahead and download Unity. You will not click this choose your Unity uh, version. We are going to be interested in this download Unity hub. So you will click this download Unity hub. So if you're using Windows or a Mac, it doesn't matter because you will download your version of the Unity uh, hub. But, uh, but before we start using Unity, we need to see the system requirements. So if you have Windows 7 SP1 or a Windows 8 or Windows 10 with 64 byte version, you can use Unity. If you have 22, uh, I mean, if you have 32 uh, Windows system, it will not work for you. So you will need to have at least four uh, gigabytes in your RAM and you can run Windows uh, 74. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm missing numbers here, guys. What the hell is happening? <laughs> so you will need uh, the Unity 64 uh, version. So in Mac, you need to have OS 10 point, uh, twin, uh, uh, 12 if you have uh, uh, this version, this 10, 12, as you can see, uh, in my case, I have uh, Mac High OS Sierra here. So I, I have the version I need, it's uh, 10, 13, so you, I can run Unity. And for the GPU, you need a graphic card with the X, Direct X uh, 10, or in shader mode 4.0, I have this. You need to check if you have this uh, in your computer. If you don't, you may need to download uh, uh, an older version of Unity. As you see here, you have this older version of Unity and you need to download another version. But if you have a good computer, you can go ahead and just click on this download Unity hub. Either way, even if you have a, a bad computer, just click this download Unity Hub and you will uh, it will give you a link to install this Unity Hub. It's really easy guys to install it. It's really quick. Just uh, a small window just like this as you can see I have it here. It's pop-ups and the first time you will open Unity, you will need to create uh, an account. So you will go in your account here and you will do this uh, scene in account. So you will have a new account in your uh, Unity. The second thing we are going to do is you need to click this general here. You will click this license management here and you can create a new license for you so you can use it for free. When you create a new license in Unity, it, you have uh, the right to choose between a professional one or just a personal one. In our case, guys, we are going to pick the uh, personal one because it's for free as you can see I have a personal unity here it's for free for guys if you are not winning uh, any money from your project so in our case we are just learning so we are using just the personal uh, unity version and it's for free so when you are done with creating your account and stuff like this all you have to do is click this install button here as you can see, when we click install, we will have all the version of Unity we are already installing our computer. In my case, I have these two versions here. And right now, I'm installing the new version of Unity. So in your case, you will have nothing here, right? So uh, go ahead and click this add button here. When you click add, it will prompt you with all the versions of Unity that exist right now. For example, this is the latest official release in Unity. And this is the last pre-release in Unity. There is the, uh, here is the Unity 2020, it's still in alpha. So right now we are not going to be using the Unity 2020 because it's still in alpha version. So right now I'm installing the Unity 2019. In your case, you can just click, select this Unity here and you click next. I will show you just an example. I will click Unity 2020 here, but in your case, you are going to click in this Unity 2019. Uh, you can use the Unity 2020, but it's not recommended right now. We are going to be using 2020 when it's in pre-release or in release version. Right now, it's just in alpha. It still have to go to beta into pre-release and then to be released for the public. So for now, I'm using just Unity uh, 2019. Go ahead, select, select it and click next. 
if you are using a, a mac like me you will have those ios build support in this mac build support here uh, go ahead and select and check this ios build support check the mac build support and check the web uh, gl build support if you are using uh, a computer uh, windows you select this windows build support and you uncheck this mac and uncheck the, this ios and you will check uh, android build support keep the web gl build support checked and check the windows build support and you just click done and it will prompt you uh, something just like this one as you can see here it will be like this one here with this uh, line here it is blue line it shows you where you are in progress for installing unity version and all the plugins that you added to it so this is really guys uh, what we are going to be doing uh, in this tutorial guys in this video because we are just going to install unity and we prepare to use it in the next episode so when this line finish you will have your unity version installed in your pc or in your computer so in my case i will wait until this is installed and we are going to go ahead and make another video in the next uh, week so we can start using uh, unity so this is gonna be it for this video guys uh, i hope you are motivated to learn how to use unity guys i'm pretty sure my skills is really bad at explaining uh, i mean at uh, motivating people <laughs> like this but i'm pretty sure you are going to love this series guys because we, uh, we are going to learn how to make games and we are going to be really really making something really cool inside unity and we are not, not going to use like uh, bad art but we are going to use really really cool stuff and we are going to see also how we can create art in photoshop so it will be like uh, a tutorial series between navi navigating between unity and photoshop and we are going to see some new cool stuff that you are going to like for sure so guys i hope you are motivated to uh, subscribe in this channel and like this video if you do like what we do of course and i hope to see you guys in the next video stay tuned and love you guys